Hi everyone, today I am going to put together the Party Time 12 pack card kit. And it just takes a few tools. The card kits from Creative Memories are so great. They're really easy and usually pretty fast to put together and they just require minimal additional supplies. If you would like to order this kit, you can get it on my website or you can also contact me and I can help connect you to that. If you're near me in Utah, I live in Kaysville, you're welcome to come pick up some supplies in person or just come check out some things or join a crop with us. So let's get going on the cards. There are actually two different versions of the Party Time card kit. One kit has larger cards, um, but you only get four cards and you also make your own envelopes in that kit. This kit has the slightly smaller cards, kind of the standard standard card size. I think it's a uh, four and a half by five. I'll double check that right now and I can tell you for sure. Four and a quarter by five and a half, actually. And that is the size of the majority of the Creative Memories card kits. The larger Party Time card kit makes five by seven cards that are bigger, um, and it's just a different type of kit. So if you'd be interested in seeing that one, I'd be happy to walk through that in one of my other videos. Each card kit comes with a set of instructions, and these will show you uh, how to put together all the pieces and what pieces go with each card. It also has usually two different bags, one with all the pieces as the instructions lay out how to do the cards. So if you wanna do exactly what is shown in the instructions, then this bag should have all the pieces for you. And then there's often a bonus bag with some additional pieces that you can either swap out, like if you want your, your saying to be different on a certain card, or that you can use for extra cards. I'm gonna set the bonus pieces aside for now. I'm just gonna save it in this box that the cards originally came in. So each of the card kits that are this size come in a box. The newest ones have um, some examples of the designs printed on the back. Ones that are a little bit older, like prior to 2022, will not have that. They'll just be more or less plain on the bottom with whatever design. Um, but the card boxes are really nice to save, either to put your cards back in afterwards or to use to give a little gift or organize other things. Um, the kit comes with 12 cards and 12 envelopes. And these envelopes are white on the inside, but a lot of times the envelopes you get with your kit have a cute design printed to match your uh, cards in the set. So 12 cards, 12 envelopes, and then we've got all the pieces to make the 12 cards in the instructions. I will do fast motion on this part, but what I'm gonna do next is organize all my pieces so I know which pieces go to which card and I'll just set those together with a card. This is how I like to organize my card kits. It just helps me move through them faster when I'm ready to put them together. Okay, now my pieces are all organized, and as you probably saw as I was laying those out, each piece is labeled on the back to say which card, the number that it goes with, and then also a letter that is identified in the instructions for that card. So it's really easy to see which piece is which, and there is some flexibility and creativity, of course, so you can change things up a little bit if you don't like the exact design or you want to do something a little bit different. And Sometimes I do it that way. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna mostly just follow the instructions and do um, the, the same design that is shown in the picture. So I have a couple different adhesives here. I got my precision point adhesive out in case there were any very small pieces. Sometimes there are in the card kits. It didn't look like anything was too small, so I don't think I'm gonna need that for this one. 
I also got out my microchip scissors in case there's anything that needs to be cut or trimmed or just wasn't quite fitting, which normally is not the case, but once in a while I'll find a piece that hangs off the edge just a tiny bit and I wanna give that a little trim. So if I need those scissors, they are there. Mostly I'm gonna use my regular tape runner and the foam squares to put my cards together. And you can do them the way that I'm doing them with some of the foam pieces raised up. A lot of times um, it's also fun to use your foam squares on the back of the large pieces so the whole design part of the card actually stands up a little bit from the card base. Um, I might do something like that today, just a couple ideas to think about. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna get started with card number one where it's saying to adhere 1A, which is this large piece directly to the card base. And you'll wanna make sure your card is opening the right way when you go to adhere your pieces. And it doesn't require a ton of adhesive, but I do use a little more adhesive when I'm putting together my cards compared to if I were gonna make a scrapbook page mainly because the cards will be handled um, and you want those pieces to all stay together. So I did some adhesive kind of a little bit all along the edges. And now I'm gonna decide what do I wanna do foam squares with? And what do I want to just adhere flat down? I think I will Actually attach this piece first to the mailbox the little heart that's coming out as we're sending love so that's attached here and then we've got pieces 1b 1c and 1d that we're applying to the card and I'm gonna put everything else up on some foam squares the squares come in a couple different sizes in fact if you are looking at this video pretty quickly, you might still be able to get the packs that have just the two sizes like this, but the foam squares are currently being updated to give you a bigger variety of squares in different sizes, which I think will be great. They came out that way as a part of a secret box about a year ago. And I liked having that variety. Sounds like most people did too. So Creative Armory is switching over the style of the foam squares instead of just the two to have, I think, four or six different sizes. Now we're just attaching, and I'm gonna make sure that big heart in the mailbox is pretty close to those little hearts up at the top. Make sure my mailbox is on there pretty straight. And then put my little sending love flag on here as well. So that's cute, and that's done. Just took a couple minutes to make that card, and it is finished. So now on to card number two. And this one is a birthday card. Um, this kit, Party Time, is primarily birthday, but there are some other things too. I'm gonna have a little cupcake that says happy birthday, cute. And I think on this one, I will pop the whole thing up from the card because it's going to have a little border. I think that will look nice. And then I'm just debating whether I also want to add another layer of foam and pop those other pieces up too. I might. I might do that. Another option for your card adhesive would be the... photo tape if you like that instead of tape runner or foam tape if you have any of that I can't remember at the moment if that's available on the Creative Memories website but it is something they've had previously just get that 
pretty centered. Might not be exact, but I think we're okay. And I think I do want to make a second layer of raised foam. Oh, and the other thing I was going to say is if you're sharing this kit with other people and you don't have a lot of tape runners, you might just want to think about getting a package of tape chips because those are easy to divide up among a group. So if you're teaching a class or just having a girls' night or something, that's a good, easy way to um, spread your adhesive around. And then the tape chips work kind of similar to these foam squares where um, they're adhered on one side to the sheet. You peel them off and then stick them where you need them and then peel off the backing so the adhesive on the other side is exposed as well. Happy birthday. And so that'll be a fun little card to send to someone. I'll mention that the foam squares sometimes cause a small issue with the post office when you're mailing things. Um, occasionally they will say that something that has dimension like that can't be processed um, by a machine. It's not machine machinable or whatever they call it. And then you might have to pay extra postage to send it. I don't personally find that I have a lot of problems when I do the foam squares because those ones can kind of squish down a little. But I do more often have issues with the postage when I include gems and other things that are have some dimension and are a little less flexible. The foam squares squish down enough that I feel like often they can get them through the mail regularly. So this one is a cute thank you card. If you don't want it to be a thank you card, you can just omit this piece or I bet there's a bonus piece of the same size you could swap it out for. And I'm just going to decide what do I want to have stand up from this card with the foam. I think I'll do this green burst directly on the card with the tape runner. And these other pieces with foam squares. I don't know about you, but by far, the cards I use the most, the type of cards, are birthday cards. I send a lot of birthday cards. And then after that, thank you cards might be the second most common thing, for me at least. I, I don't know if that's kind of how everybody finds like what they're sending, but for me that's definitely true. All right, where's the card number four? Brighter days ahead. A little cheer up card. Very cute. And again, if you did not love that saying, you could either cover that up, you could just omit this piece, you could create some other piece to put on there. Um, I'm going to attach this one straight down and put some foam on the sun. And I've noticed the uh, printed pieces of the cards, I'm not sure if you can see that, are a tiny, tiny bit bigger than the actual card base, just barely. And I thought about whether that was something I wanted to 
change if I wanted to trim that extra off and decided it, it doesn't matter to me for this. So I'm not gonna worry about trimming those, but I, I am seeing that the pieces that have the full card size background are actually just a little bit bigger than the card themselves. Cute, brighter days ahead. And then we're on to card number five, which is another birthday card. Let's eat cake. We're going to build a little stack here, and this will go on the center cake layer, cake tier. I think for this one, I'll just stand this second layer up. But I'm going to attach this directly to the piece below. this one directly to the card. I really like this party time collection. So I mentioned there are two card kits, the bigger cards with the envelopes you make, and then these kind of smaller or standard size cards. There's also a scrapbooking collection, which you can use for scrapbooks or cards or whatever, with paper packs and stickers. It's really fun in this same color palette with similar designs. And then we're on to card number six. This one's cute, says just a note. It looks kind of like a postage stamp with a letter. I'm going to do two layers of foam on this one. And you can see when I am doing the full large piece popped up with foam, I'm using not a ton, but you want to get at least your corners in your middle, I feel like, when the piece is large like this. So I use five. You could do more if you'd like. On the other pieces, usually just two or three would be enough for the foam. Oh, you're a little wonky. Just kind of depends on the size of your piece or your paper, whatever you're adhering. And sometimes I like to put foam on something that's really small, like a narrow word cutout or something like that. And when I do that, I might even have to cut my foam squares smaller so they can support the really skinny sections of that embellishment or word or whatever it is. Okay, so we've got our just a note card. Once you get your pieces organized and you know what is going with what, these go really quickly. Um, the times I notice when people take more, more time doing their cards are mostly when they're trying to be more creative and they wanna do something different than what's in the printed instructions. And that's fine too, like it, it's a fun way to Play with these pieces and maybe mix and match your cards a little bit. Get something a little unique. But it does take more time when you're designing yourself. 
typically if I teach a card class, most people who are following the designs can finish a set of 12 cards in an hour to an hour and a half. When people are designing their own, it does take more time. But that's the way some people enjoy their crafting is more creative. And so you just maybe have to know for the group you're making cards with, are these people who will want to take the extra time? Or is this group more interested in getting things done quickly or maybe they just don't want to have to think about it too much? I definitely hear that a lot. That people like the card kits because they can make some very cute designs very quickly and they just don't even have to think about how to make that happen. Let's see, I'm gonna do these with tape runner. Stuck straight onto the red yay piece. That's a fun little fun cutout. If you wanted to, you could also do some foam on these to attach them to the polka dot piece. But I'm just going to attach straight to the red piece. But we're more than halfway finished now. And the rest of the cards should go pretty quickly also. On to card number eight. This one's a happy birthday card, but it's also a shaker. Huh. I don't know how I did this, but I got pieces in the wrong one. <laughs> I must have been putting my stack together wrong. Let's see. That's nine. That's eight. That's eight. Save those ones for the next card. Um, and with some of these cards, um, they have the design going landscape style. But if you wanted to, there's no reason this card couldn't go portrait style up and down instead. So it's just up to you to decide some of those things. That's a pretty easy, quick change to the design. So I don't know if you have a preference for the kind of cards. Maybe you could comment about whether you would rather have write in and send <laughs> Um, landscape cards that go horizontal or portrait style orientation cards that are more tall and up and down. I attached that crooked, so just straightening that out. And because this shaker is going to actually stand up a lot from this, there's two things I would recommend. One, if you have the max strength adhesive, max strength adhesive for these shaker pieces is very helpful. Um, if you can wait for it to sit for a while, the precision point adhesive is also a very strong hold once it dries, but it does take a little bit of time for that to set up. Not, not a ton, but you have to be willing to wait a few minutes uh, to let that adhesive dry. It is the only wet adhesive from Creative Memories. I definitely do not recommend just a standard glue stick for things like this. And in general, I don't recommend wet adhesive for most things with, with paper because too much of it will make your paper all wobbly. I'm going to kind of double up on this and do some tape runner to hold it together temporarily, but also I'm going to use my precision point adhesive and hope that it helps just keep it in place longer. Like I said, the um, maximum strength Creative Memories Tape Runner, I feel like would be your best option for this. But your regular tape runner will hold as long as this doesn't get mangled or handled too crazy. This is one that may have problems going through the mail because I don't know if you can see how tall that is. That's a good quarter inch, and this is not going to flatten in a machine. Where the foam squares are a little more flexible, this is not something I would probably stick in the mail. 
It's very, very cute. They're really fun, but this is something you probably wanna hand directly to someone instead of sending in the mailbox. Okay, we're on card number nine. We are really close to the end of this. There are 12 cards. And I showed you those bonus pieces. I think I'm going to pull out some, some of the paper from this Party Time collection and just make a few additional cards using the bonus pieces from this kit and some paper that I'll cut out. And I can do that as a separate video. You can see how you might use bonus pieces, especially with a, a set like this that has a matching paper pack and stickers and other things, you could easily extend your cards, your card collection <laughs> from these 12 into maybe six more or so like that. Cute little congratulations. If you wanted this to be for birthday, I would just leave that congratulations word off. You can add a sticker that says happy birthday or, or something else, maybe a different bonus piece. Getting a nice little stack of cards up here. I'm glad to replenish my birthday card supply. I like to send cards to everybody in our family for their birthdays. Um, so I do send quite a few. I think on this one I'm going to double the layer of foam again. I'm just going to attach this large piece straight to the card. And then I'll do foam for the mug and the little heart as well. It's nice to have the different sizes of foam so you don't have to like always cut a big one into something small or use a lot of the small ones. Looking forward to having that new pack with a bigger variety of sizes. That will be, that will be very helpful, especially when you're putting together something really large, like a, something like a large piece with some foam. Um, I know that new pack has some foam squares that are larger than the ones that we have had in the past. So that will be nice. Okay, last two, card number 11. This is kind of a congratulations card, very cute. It says you did it. This piece has a little star in it. And I'll do two layers of foam again. Each kit is a little bit different as far as how much adhesive you need, how much foam you might use. I would recommend if you're going to teach this as a class or share it with friends, it's a good idea to put together a set yourself first when you're deciding how much of each type of adhesive you might need. And like I just with one set myself used up almost a whole sheet of the large squares already. So it would be a bummer if I was trying to share this pack with a friend and each of us were doing a full kit, but we only had enough foam for one of us. <laughs> so good, good to test out before, before you, um, maybe decide how much of each of your materials needs to be included as part of a class or something. When I'm teaching card classes, which I do, I try to do a couple times a month, sometimes I'll just 
split up the kit so people are doing half and that's a little bit faster and it can be a little more affordable for people who don't want to spend money on the whole kit and I usually do provide all the adhesive that people will use as part of their class okay last one number 12 I'm gonna attach this blue background and this calls for confetti cute that's a fun fun different birthday saying so I'd love to hear maybe which is your favorite card from this set or like I mentioned before, do you generally prefer landscape or portrait orientation for your cards? I'm going to attach these pieces all together. This is another one where this piece really needs to go up and down just because it's a little too wide to go the other way but you could easily turn everything else and make it a portrait orientation card. But I'm gonna attach my pieces to this one all together and then I'll put foam on the back of the white piece. And that's gonna be the last one. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how this card kit goes together. Maybe you picked up some tips or it was just good to see how somebody does something that might be a little bit different than the way you've done it before. And you've got at the end of this 12 cute cards ready to go that are gonna be fun for birthdays and thank yous and congratulations and some other things. And if you want this kit, or if you need any other supplies, here's my information. I would be happy to help you out. Please get in touch and let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future.